Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and I'm here with Dan Baker, who's the Senior Technical Business Development Manager from LG, and um, we're here to share some exciting news. And this is quite different. I mean, for many years, manufacturers of displays have had smart displays, but what you're doing is really stepping up the game a little bit here, Dan, with a full integration of Bright Signs OS in your uh, 55, your most popular display for video wall applications and signage. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, using the same chassis as our UH5N, so it's the exact same hardware. Um, but what we're really doing is we're adding on BrightSign's operating system, so you can use it just like you would an LS445 plugged into a display. So we're removing that two-part component and just putting it into one display. Make sense? Yeah, so so basically, you don't need a separate BrightSign box. You just, you can basically run, and I'm guessing BSN Cloud works with it as well, so that you can use it as a cloud-based system. Yeah, absolutely. You can do it standalone if you like using Bright Author, but the preferred method is to use BSN Cloud. When you first start the display, it gives you the sign-in screen just like you would with any normal Bright Sign player. Type in that code into BSN Cloud, and boom, connects. So this is quite different than um, others have done. Like you're not even just using the CMS here you're actually embedding the operating system on the actual display so you, this would mean theoretically that you should be able to use any third-party player in addition to that right well any third-party cms, CMS you're correct yeah right yeah so in this in this case what you do is you plug it into the lan and you plug in the, the power to the wall and then boom you've got a bright sign operating system running on an lg display Right. There's no other component to it. This isn't the same as their SOC chip that yeah. other computers may have. It's actually their operating system coded directly onto LG's SOC. And what that does really is, is it gives uh, the end user the ability to get screenshots to make sure that the display is actually live and not just changed input or turned off. You can get uh, screen control, you can reboot, you can reset. All those things that you can do on a, on a bright sign uh, player, you can now do on the display itself. So from a from an integrator standpoint, you don't have to roll a truck for a thousand dollars or something, and just to find out somebody turned off the display, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and more more importantly, you're able to build a full uh, digital signage system with multiple displays all over an entire campus or facility and not have to worry about it. You just run one CMS to run the entire thing and you don't have to worry about managing the player separately. How does the upgrade on the software work when you when they do an OS upgrade? Um, is that all manageable through the cloud or how does that work? It's actually really a nice way of doing it. So BrightSign actually manages all the firmware updates on the display, just as they would their Series 5 or coming Series 6 or you know uh, versions. So they're the ones in control of it that do all over-the-air upgrades. It's really a nice feature. And is it native 4K output? I mean, in other words, you're getting the full 4K from the display. You're not compressing the resolution or any of that kind of stuff? Yeah, as you send videos to it like you normally would um, using a different CMS, you know, yeah. for example, um, Space Navori, it's going to work the same as you would see the LS445 deliver okay. that content. And because it's an, a 4K resolution, you'll have that 4K output. So it's just like having a media player behind the display, but you don't mm -hmm. have to have the box for the media player. This is, this is interesting. Uh, I don't think any other display companies are doing anything like this. Yeah, so this is an exclusive to LG for the next next number of months. It's uh, around three years. It's not exactly three years, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And and will we see this integration in more of your products? Because this I, seems to me this would make sense for more than just that 55-inch display, but maybe the entire product line eventually. Yeah, so we actually have three sizes are, that are out, so the 49, 55, and 65-inch. Okay. Um, since this does match the chassis of our UH5N series, any size that's in the UH5N technically could be used, but, okay. but it all comes down to this, so, so demand, right? If we have yeah. a user that demands that, then we'll we'll adapt it. Um, as as it pertains to other products, as long as there's demand and there's uh, in, and we can get the programmers behind it, we'll absolutely entertain that. 
and what what's the upcharge for this? Like, is it is there an additional fee, or is it a is it a per display license to use the BrightSign OS? Yeah, so there's there's nothing that the end user pays, which is great. Um, there is a difference in the cost of display. So our UH five N model, let's just say it's a thousand dollars. It's it's not, but you know, I'm using that as an example. Um, the the UV five N, the bright sun version, uh, from an MSRP standpoint, would be somewhere in like a twelve fifty. Um, you'll have to check with you'll have to check actual prices with your distribution partners. Um, but there's a small upcharge uh, for the bright sign model, which means that, you know, if you want WebOS, then go with the UH5N. But yeah. if you want the bright sign model, then go with the, the UV5N. You're still spending less by getting the display with bright sign OS than you would be the UH5N plus the bright sign player. Plus, you don't have to manage a separate player. So that's nice. Right. Yeah. And you're getting right. all the features of it. Very creative, very good idea. And of course, this is available both through LG and through Exertus Almo, which is an LG partner. Uh, you can always find them at exertusoutmode.com. And of course, you know where to find LG. We'll link the products in this description of this video cast. So no matter where you're watching, you can get the information on it. Dan, I really appreciate you uh, coming by and, and telling us about this. And also, I'm sure this will be at Infocom, both probably in both your booth and the Brightside booth, if they're smart enough that they should put it there too, because this is pretty innovative. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, when we look at this a little bit, you know, think about some other applications that may need more than basic signage. We're still partnering with with uh, BrightSign, where if we need to get something super interactive, we need yeah. 8K outputs. We're still partnering them with them for their players in our display. So be on the lookout for more integrations that way. That's very cool. All right. Well, I'm expecting more certainly in and around the Infocom time frame. Uh, Dan, thank you very much for joining us. And of course, you can see all of our Infocom coverage as it comes up at raypubs.com slash Infocom. That's where we'll put everything. Uh, in the meantime, everyone have a great day. And Dan, thanks for joining us. See you again. See you.